For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fun little uh, guitar pick thingy where, you're, where you have two guitar picks separated by a third guitar pick in the middle and it makes uh, an interesting little sound. As everybody knows, the uh, guitar pick that you choose has a big effect on the sound. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So what we need, a uh, piece of paper just to protect my wife's table, three guitar picks, super glue type stuff, uh, something to cut the middle guitar pick with. So I'm just using a little uh, wire cutters thing. And then a little pliers to hold the guitar pick just so that we don't um, use the glue and weld our fingers to the guitar picks. So anyway, what I like to do is take two guitar picks of the same uh, width and you can experiment different ones, a thicker one and a thinner one, whatever, you can get different sounds and everything, but for this we'll just use three of the exact same. Okay, so we take the middle one and I'm just going to clip off a chunk of it. So it really doesn't matter that it's even or anything. Uh, I try to get it fairly even, fairly you know straight across, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I found that if you cut just the very tip of it off, then you get a different sound. It sounds more like just a thicker guitar pick because the tips of these two don't flex as much. If you cut off more of it, then the pick, the two picks flex a little more and you get more of that dual pick type of a sound. Okay, so the next thing that I do is I take the guitar picks and I hold them together. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but the picks aren't perfectly straight so it looks like the way I have it, these two picks are curved a little bit away from each other. Okay, So if you reverse them so that they curve towards each other, okay, even with the pick in between, they're going to be curved towards each other and be extremely close together. So I find that, again, that sort of defeats the purpose. It just sounds more like a thicker guitar pick. So I like to line them up. If there's any curve in them, I like to line them up so that there's, okay, that seems like to be the most amount of curve away from each other. Um, just so that there's, you know, more distance and you get more of the, sort of, I don't know if you can hear that, sort of the two pick sound when you're strumming the strings, okay? So, we take the guitar picks, put them together, okay, and what we're going to do is try to line them all up at this end, okay, so that there's no, like, weird little middle piece sticking out of the edge or anything, like a sharp corner, okay, so we line them up, and then what we're going to end up doing is we hold them together with the... Um, little wrench here, uh, glue. What I try to do because I've tried, you know, different ways, and I've tried gluing the pick, and then you put this on, and it like slides around, and it's really hard to get it in place, all lined up. See how I'm using my thumb to and fingers to sort of keep it all lined up together. When you do that. What I found is, but pers from personal experience, I found this out. The glue squishes out, and you end up with the guitar pick stuck to your fingers like that on both sides. So that is not a fun thing. So what I do, because this uh, CA glue is a cryo anal something, whatever it is, um, it's very thin, you know, like almost watery. So what I found is you can hold it with the pliers, put a couple of drips, and it wicks in. 
Okay, so we're going to open this to have it all ready to roll. Okay, get the pick all lined up and ready to roll. Okay, I think I have it. Gonna hold that. And a little bit of glue along the edge and it kind of wicks in. And, you know, try to do this in a a somewhat ventilated area because the glue's a little smelly. So anyway, now we just wait for this to dry. And uh, trying to put the cap on the glue with, uh, I had surgery on these two knuckles, so the stitches, uh, they should be coming out soon. But anyway, so now we just let this dry. Okay, everything looks like it's all lined up good. So we let this dry and I'll be back to show you how it sounds. Here we are. The glue's all dried, ready to listen to how it sounds. So first, uh, the exact same type of a pick, but a single one. Now the double pick. can definitely hear a difference. First off, it's a um, thicker pick, you know, I mean, with the two of them, it's, there's more mass, so I think it sounds a little fuller and richer. But then there's also like a high-end kind of a chime that you get from... from the two picks hitting versus a single pick. The two picks almost work like uh, doing a pinch harmonic where you pick the string and then touch it with your thumb and get that sort of harmonic to pop out. I think that's sort of what the two picks together do. So anyway, I uh, hope this has been informative and uh, it's really easy to do, it's really easy to make one. Experiment with different types of picks, with different gauges, you know, mix and match, whatever. Uh, you can use a thicker pick in between, two thinner picks, to really separate, you know, the two playing picks further apart. All kinds of different things. The options are almost endless, so hope this helps somebody. Enjoy.